Hey, how's it going, everybody out there in YouTube world? Listen, I was going to shoot this on St. Patrick's Day, but then it hit me. I'm not helping anybody if I shoot it on St. Patrick's Day. So let's get it up and post it now so you can see what I'm talking about. If this helps just one or two people, you'll want to know it prior to St. Patrick's Day. I have some things I need to show you. And uh, you'll be the hit of the parade. <laughs> yes, we've always celebrated St. Patrick's Day in our household. And the last couple of years, there has been some... Can you wear a cowboy hat with a kilt? Well, I don't know. And I guess it all depends who you are. Me? I always do. Do I wear cowboy boots with a kilt? Nope. Not happening. I just don't think it goes. Personal taste. Do I wear a ski and do with a kilt? Yeah, it depends where I'm going. Some places it might get confiscated, so you got to be careful of that. Depends on where you're at. Now, I wear the hybrid kilt. So it's not complete overkill. Overkilt, I should say. <laughs> It just came to me. Anyway, I'm going to give you a full length. Now, this is my basic St. Patrick's Day attire. Plus the Renaissance Fair. Plus Irish Weekend, you know, in Wildwood, New Jersey. So, if you ever see the guy in a cowboy hat and a kilt, come say hello to me. All right? I'm a pretty harmless guy, so come say hi. Um, more than likely, you know, I think I'll be pretty cool to you. All right, so I hope you can see all this. All right, if not, we're gonna get different angles. You wanna rock your cowboy hat on St. Patrick's Day or any of those Irish festivals? This is what you do. Remember, matter of taste, personal opinion. Go with the utility kilt. It's not overkill. Don't wear cowboy boots. Please don't. Wear these. If you've got military boots, that'll work. If you've got black, high, you know, eight inch um, tactical boots or whatever, it'll work. Worst case scenario, throw on your Timberlands. It'll work, but I would definitely go black. Check out this. This is the skin do I'm talking about. I got this from Amazon for 16 bucks. This thing is amazing. As I said, you don't want to get it confiscated, but if you do, it was only 16 bucks. Get yourself another one. Comes in four different types of stones. You get green, purple, red, or blue. I choose green. Check this out. This is 420 stainless steel. The thing's pretty heavy, and it's pretty darn sharp. Do I have anything to cut out here? It's pretty darn sharp. Little tough getting it in and out of the sheath, but after you do it a few times, it's, it's fine. This dagger is pretty sharp. As I said, if I get a comp scale, I'll just get another one. Just be careful where you choose to wear it. You know, and where do you put it? On your dominant side. Put it on your dominant side, right there. It's a little heavy for your sock, but works for me. What else? The kilt. This is a utility kilt. If you're gonna buy one, take a cloth measuring tape and measure around your belly button. If it measures 42 and a half inches, just go with a size 42. You have these leather straps that will adjust two inches on each side. So that's so important is to use your belly measurements. All right. What else? 
Um, oh yeah, you want to get your Western flare on? Throw on your buckle. It works. All right, put on your Western buckle. It goes, it goes with the hat. But cowboy boots, in my opinion, they just don't. And uh, I get to wear this three, four times a year and receive nothing but compliments. So I want to do the video now in case somebody says, I always wanted one of those kilts. Don't go for the full, you know, tartan kilt then. Go for the utility kilt. You got these little hooks on the side for God knows what reason. You got these side pockets, you know, for your gear. I can play all the Highland games I want wearing this thing. This thing's awesome, all right? Free flowing. And uh, again, the scheme do off of Amazon, 16 bucks. Get this delivered in a day or two if you have Amazon Prime. The kilt, another day or two. So if interested, get your order in now. Get them in now. You'll have them in plenty of time. If the size is too big or whatever, again, you have plenty of time to exchange it and get the correct size. Uh, I guess the main point of this video is how often do you see uh, a guy wearing a cowboy hat and a kilt? There might be some people that say, nope, doesn't work. As I said, it depends who you are. It'll work. Definitely work. All right? Just don't wear cowboy boots. It's just my personal opinion. I tried it once, failed. I wound up taking them off before I went out. It just didn't seem to go. Other than that, I do feel like I'm forgetting something. If I do, I'll leave it in my notes. All right? Everybody, have a safe and happy week. Got some more knife videos ahead. This was more of a public service announcement <laughs> rather than a knife video, although I did show this. This is pretty cool. All right? Uh, any questions, hit me up. And uh, I always get back to any comments. I'm pretty good at that. So uh, be safe, everybody, and uh, happy pre-St. Patrick's Day to all. Just a quick, uh, like a better view without this uh, table in my way of exactly what you're looking at. All right. The utility kill. All right. Go again. Check this out. Yeah. These side pockets, these cargo pockets. Put your gear. Got your western belt. Again, don't forget, measure around your belly button. They're not lying when they say that. Everybody tries to go with their normal waist size and pants. It doesn't work. It's going to be too small. All right? That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we got. All right? That's it. It just caught me at the end of that video. I'm like, you didn't get another angle. Well, here's the other angle. I'm just getting dizzy. All right, I hope this helps. All right, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody.